welcome to guitar lessons for all.com this is my second video a follow-up to the lesson one on finger style so as always we begin by tuning now a tip about tuning if you can get a little bit closer to the frets here I'll show you a quick tip that I use for tuning fret one two three four five the fifth fret very important fret and this is an A when you put your finger any finger on the fifth fret play that note that is an A note which is very important for tuning why because look we match this finger on the fifth fret we match that with the open A string that's the fifth string if they sound good together, then they're pretty much in tune. So let's try this again. That sounds okay to me. Now, put your finger on the same fret, fifth fret of the next string. The fifth string, the A. No, that doesn't sound good. So let's begin again. Those two are good. Ah, so this is the string I think we need to tune up. This is the D string. Can you see the tuning peg here? Okay, so we're going to match it with this one because we're happy with this string and tune. Need to raise this bit. Check again. Fifth fret. Yeah, sounds good enough for me. Let's go to the next one. Fifth fret again. Okay, we go now to the third string. This is the G string. And this is the only one where we move down to the 4th fret to match. So here it is. G string, 4th fret. That is a B. That's the same as your B string. Yeah, sounds good. Back we go on the B string now. That's the second one. Always counting up from the floor. We match. Put your finger there, 5th fret, B string. We match that. So that sounds good. We'll play a chord. Let's play an E major chord. Okay, so that's tuning by ear, basically, if you don't have a tuner. This is my new tuner here. This is called a Snark tuner. You can buy them for about 10 euro. They're quite a good tuner. Clip on, mind. Uh, the clip on, as I may have mentioned before, is, 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 is uh, the best tuner to get because it tunes by vibration not by sound or microphone so i'm just going to check the strings again now here we'll say the names of them again e perfect a perfect d that was the one now that we tune by ear almost perfectly just fine tune it till it goes green perfect that's d now we go on to G, which I think is slightly out. So a little bit flat. Perfect. B is perfect. E. Perfect. Always switch off your tuner. Saves the battery. Now, very quickly, today's lesson. We've done our tuning, which is very important. That's the first thing you always do. Just to talk about the fingers again. Here's a tip for you, especially for the uh, ladies who may be interested in learning guitar because some girls do not like to cut their nails your fretting hand that's in my case my left hand you've got to keep these nails trimmed keep them as short as possible there's a good test if you can hear that the nails click click it's time to cut them so i've just cut my nails on the right hand which we're going to be using for finger picking You've got the five fingers, we'll just go over them again, sorry. Uh, yeah, you've got five fingers, but we're only going to use these for finger picking. Thumb, P, I, M, A. That's what they're called in most finger picking diagrams. P is the thumb, I index, M middle, A the ring finger. So let's do our quick warm-up exercise, we start on the first string, the easy E. Nice and 
slowly, s speed is not important with this exercise. So you can do that exercise on each of the six strings for just a minute or two, then you're ready for playing. So, today, having talked about the fingers, uh, we're going to talk now about an, probably the best scale you can learn. And it can also be used as a warm-up exercise. I mean, we did the four-finger warm-up exercise. That's not really a scale, that's just a four finger four fret exercise. This is a scale now, and this is called the A minor pentatonic scale. Don't worry about that name, it's a big name. It's a very useful scale and it's not difficult. Again, our fifth fret is where we start on this A note. So go to your sixth string, the big one. E. Up to the fifth fret. Now, fingers are important here. If you can get a bit closer, and watch my fingering here. Finger one. Finger for the pinky. So we're do that again now. We're starting on the fifth fret. Now we go to the eighth fret with the pinky. Good. Next string, the A string, fifth fret again. This time it's the seventh fret and we use the ring finger. Same again on the D. Same again on the G string. Now on the B string, again we're on the 5th fret, but now we use the pinky finger to go to the 8th. Same on the E string. Okay, very good. Let's try coming back down. I find this a little harder. Sorry. Emphasis here is on accuracy rather than speed. So we'll do the this A minor pentatonic scale one more time, watching the fingers. I'll just count the fingers this time for you now. Finger one, fifth fret, finger four, finger one, finger three, finger one, finger three, finger one, finger three, finger one, pinky, pinky, back down. your A minor pentatonic scale and it can be used as a warm-up just for a minute or two. So I hope you enjoy that little lesson and there'll be more coming very soon. Thanks for watching!